presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is always a great weekend card. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 197, NASDAQ off 152, S&P's down 39. Gold, gold contract up $11.90 trading at 19.92.50 an ounce. You get silver up 50 cents, $23.54 an ounce. Light sweet crude, down 62 cents. $88.75 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 106 flat. The 30 year up 22 at 108.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 93 ticks, trading at 106.160. The Euro is at 105. The yen's trading out here at 149. The British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in y'all world? So let's go to the world of the futures first, because you got option expiration coming in at the close. We'll take a look at the futures first. You know, kind of, it was a straight line move down this morning. Okay, so you don't have a high volume low down here. So that's actually saying that we are going to, you know, what we did is this: we had a straight line move down. You took back maybe, is that 50% of it, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you actually took back 61 point. Yeah, you took back 61%. So this is going to get interesting because you got some volume up there. So we'll see how this shakes out, but you, you have a shot of going right back up to where we just did that uh, counter trend bounce. Now, that being said, if we go to the SPY, what you're going to see is that you're trading at the 322 area. Well, yeah, 322. And it's the 320 area that's right at those lows. 320, 322 is the number. And what we've done so far is this. You've done 85 million shares. You're going into 113. Yesterday, we did 121. So bottom line is that, you know, we don't have a rejection of lower price yet, but that's the bottom of the consolidation. And something to keep in mind is this. You know, when I was talking, when we were talking with Tim Ward yesterday, the bottom line is that if you have this area does not hold, well, your next area is down to 4,000. That's what it comes down to, really. You know, you get something at, uh, yeah, 400 on the S&P. 400. Yeah, realistically, that's the next swing point. Let me do it a different way. One second. Let me, I'll put the SPX up. Yeah, your next level. You're at 4242. Put it weekly on this. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same deal. 
It's not that actually. It's not that much lower actually. That's interesting. Forty-one fifty-nine. Yeah, it's not. It's not. So this forty-one fifty-nine is going to have. This is on the cash S and P now, and the cash S and P is trading forty-two forty-three. Well, it doesn't trade. Okay. The way the cash S and P works, folks, is that all the S and P stocks they add them up and then they do the weight and structure, and that's how you get that number. Yeah. So. We'll see if this baby's going to hold uh, at the first bottom, the first consolidated bottom, which is held in the past. Um, Q's. The Q's down 55 million right now. Yesterday we did uh, 72, and we could still do 72. Yeah, we're going to do 72, man, because option expiration, you're going to do some. You're going to do some numbers here. The 355, 351 is the bottom of this consolidation. Then we go into the note and bond market. Now, this one's going to get really dicey because the note and bond market has been a one way trip on the way down. We got to bounce out here today. It's 1.6 million shares, kind of contracts rather. Now, what that is, that is a rejection of lower price on lighter volume. But the way that the note and bond market's going, you need some follow through, man. That's the real bottom line. First off, you need, we're, on the 10 year, we're at 106. You got to get back inside the 106, well, 03, which is not bad, to get just in the higher range. If we take a look at the TLT, the 20 year plus, what you're going to see out here. Yeah, you're up 43 cents. Put this back though on a monthly and see what we're looking at. Okay, so. Oh, I see. One second, hold it. Now, this is where this gets tricky on the. Yeah, see? So, what happens here is this, folks. On these ETFs, you got to really wrap your head around this when we're looking at charts. So, the expense ratio on the TLT is only 0.15 of 1%. Now, that's not a lot. It is a lot, however, when. You going back now? Watch this because I pull this back, and I got to go back 20 years. Actually, 10 years, just to find out what it's going into. It's actually 20 years. <laughs> so you can imagine that amount of time multiplied times 0.15 will give you the aspect of just how much is shaved off the number because of the fact of the expense ratios. You know, so you got to take that into consideration when you look at it. We have, what we did have out here today is that you got the rejection of lower price inside of the notes, the bonds, and the dollar is still on the lower end of its channel line. So the dollar is saying it's going lower. Take a look at the dollar out here. We're down 89 ticks. And you can see you're down the lower end of it. Stay right there, folks. Show my right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. It's out. Down Industrials right now, trading down 208. You get the NASDAQ up 155. S&Ps are down 39. And so the, uh, and the House of Representatives, uh, Jim Jordan, just went down for the third time. And, then, you know, the thing that's crazy, man, so this vote was 112 to 86. And then we're seeing the next victims coming up. <laughs> so Republicans who just announced to bid for speaker include Kevin Hearn of Oklahoma, Austin Scott of Georgia, in addition, Mike Johnson of Louisiana, Jack Bergman of Michigan, Dan Mauser of Pennsylvania and Jody Arlington of Texas are considering it. <sighs> As is uh, Tim Ern of uh, Minnesota. They're all going to be victims, man. I mean, they just, they, they the Republican base, not the base, the House of, House of Representatives, they're so divided, it's like pretty intense, and there's, there's, there's nothing to stop anything. That's the bottom line. So who knows what's, how this is going to shake out, but uh, as I say, I think they, they're going to be the next victims. Forget the, the nominees. Victims would be a better word. And you can see why, you know, you can see why. I remember when Bain resigned, and, like, that almost came out of nowhere, but it didn't come out of nowhere because the fact of the matter is he knew that he was going to get smoked, you know, and not, not being able to pass anything. So it's like time's precious. You know, what are you going to do? You're going to stay there and fight the rest of your life for nothing? I don't think so. So this is going to be really, uh, well, it, it is not, it is going to be right now. <laughs> and it's, of course, it's for Friday. So now what you're going to see is everyone's running to the freaking airport getting home. And we go into another week. You know, we'll see if they're going to basically give Henry. A, I just don't see they have a way out of it. I just don't. But we'll, there's going to be a way out of it. We know that. I just don't see where it is right now. And the thing that's amazing is that when you think about it, it was just the one vote that got McCarthy out of there. And I'm sure he's elated right now. <laughs> yeah, I'd be elated, man. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, anyway. So let's go take a look at the 
good old oil market because that between the Middle East, you know, supply and demand issues, period. Okay, so this came, got to 90.78. It's at 88.75. Hmm. Oh, one second. CLA. We're rolling right now. That's what's happening. Not that that makes a difference, but it. Okay, so let's take a look. Well, it went right into where we, where we came down. It couldn't hold price. So this is almost like ice. That's actually saying that, uh, you know, this thing's going to come back down. So the last low that we had out here was the 81.50 area. Right now you're at 88.75, and it looks like that we are going to come back down into those levels. That's how this is uh, setting up right now. Do I get a call, Al? No, sir. Okay. So if we take a look at the silver market, you're going to see silver's taking the top of the B point out with volume. You get 77,000 contracts out here. It just took out 66. And we got like, what's that? It's not bad. It's almost a 3.8 to B, which is going to get to 25. Yeah, that makes sense. We're at 22.53, and 25 is game. Let me put this on a continuous contract and see what happens when we get to 25. Okay. Yeah, well, the top of this range, the next swing point is 25. 25 to 30. What's going to be intriguing here is this. So look at this. We have actually gone sideways. This is pretty amazing, actually. Five. God, we've gone sideways in the silver market as a, in a consolidation since 2020. Now, when you look at this and how it's set up, these that $30 number is going to be a huge number. No chance, Den. Sorry about that, man. Here we go. Thank you for the uh, update. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so if you take a look at this consolidation, you're going to see this is quite a consolidation, man. You break this consolidation, you're going to go to the moon. <laughs> that is quite a consolidation. And the other side of that consolidation is up at the $40 level, which was 2011. So we're going to learn quite a bit about what's happening in this metals market. Because you can see the silver... You break that consolidation at 30, you're going to 40. And this, the price projection would be... The price projection is actually a little bit more than that. Let me pull this back a little bit more. I see, okay. Yeah, we've actually hit... 49 at one point. The problem, you know, and, and folks, this happens on a continual basis. If you're, if you're going out there and you, you're going to decide you're going to buy the silver or gold, right, the premiums are the problem in a monster way, meaning, you know, like an ounce of gold right now, you're going to pay 75, or an eagle this is, 75 to 100 bucks an ounce of gold, right? And when you sell it, you're not going to get that. You know, well, let's put it this way. You are going to get it if 
you're selling into a market that where gold's up 30, 40, 50 dollars, okay? You don't get it when you basically have already accelerated up and then you start going sideways or you've accelerated up so far that then everything just turns into spot. That's what, that's what happened. You know, like we're at much higher levels now than 2011. But the bottom line is that because the accelerations were so quick that when you got up to those highs, well, the bottom line is that your, the buy and sell narrowed. And that's about the only time that you actually see that. Dow Industrial's down 250, NASDAQ's up 180, S&P's down 46. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 212. NASDAQ off 166. S&P's down 41. Let's go to our man Ray in Sarasota. Ray, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. I uh, got a question for you on, uh, on a couple silver stocks. A week ago yesterday I called you regarding uh, Hecla Mining and uh, POS. And I was, when we talked about Hecla, I was wondering whether or not uh, it was at a, at a buy point. And uh, uh, it's had a move up in the last few days, uh, along with silver and everything else. And I'm wondering if, if you have a point of view on where it's going from here. I know that mine is still an issue from the fire, 
because it's not reopened. But in general, with silver moving up, is Heckler going to move with it? Yeah, let's look. <coughs> so, Ray, the next day that it was so wild that Heckler went up 10% because <laughs> I was watching it, okay? Meaning yeah. when, when we get off the phone, which is, which is great for you, and I'm, I'm really glad for you. Um, yeah, Heckler's on its way, man. That's the bottom line. So if we take a look at it, what you're going to see here, let me bring this back this way first. You're going to see that it held the bottom, okay? And it held the bottom. It went into the strength that goes all the way back to this 2020. That's, that's what it was trying to do. Well, that's what it did do. Not to the very bottom of it, but that's what it did. It missed it by, let's see, which number is that? That was 308, and we went to uh, 350, 355. So now, now, now the top of its game. That's the 939's game. You know, you already went through hell. Just hang on for heaven, man. You know. All right. And All right, so, what, what should happen here is this: as they steer step up, you know, you, you saw what I just uh, did with that silver chart, right? The actual silver chart, the. Um, physical metal so right the physical metal if that breaks thirty dollars we're going to forty dollars in like a heartbeat which will explode these silver stocks if we go over to pan american silver you know pan american silver has also you know come off that bottom Come off at nice. Yep. I mean, we were we were trading down there at what thirteen forty eight. You're at fifteen forty six, and we bang this out. Let me put this back on. Yeah, the top of the consolidation here is going to be the same thing. Well, this was a little less, but you're talking nineteen dollars. Yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. And you know, we went low enough. I, I my take is that we actually did go low enough, um, and. People were on, you know, the seat of their pants, like, okay, are we going to break through here? And for some reason, right. you know, this whole gold move is really intriguing in the context, Ray, of, I understand the dollar's pulling back, so gold should go, right? Yep. But in, in the context of it, some of these, you know, we, we just went up a hundred and something dollars on, on gold, and... That's telling me that it's like a you know train that is really just getting going, because that's very unusual when you can come off lows, and you know we got one, two, we really got three signs of strength so far. That's a lot, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. and they can catch people on the wrong side of gold pretty easy. You know, so. It looks to me like the dollar's going to go lower, gold's going higher, silver stop, silver not only stopped picking up today, I mean, silver blew away at swing point today with volume. So that's the that's same that we got action. And, then, and, you know, it seems like they're, you know, not that we want turmoil, I don't want turmoil, but the turmoil this time is a little bit different. And what I mean by that specifically, folks, is this. So picture, if you are dealing with the Mideast, and you're dealing with all those different currencies, right? The reality is, is that as there is movement of people, you're going to have movement of people, even if they buy an eighth of an ounce of gold, a quarter ounce of gold. And I think that's what's moving this gold market. You know, there are very small incremental parts of it that add up to monster dollars. And that, right, you're saying it's Individuals versus institutional. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yep. And what happens is this. See, the institutions have continued to buy. The central banks are buying, you know, I right. mean, they, they know what's going on. The, the central banks have, have been buying a long time. But the individuals and even that, that, those small quantities, when millions of people stop buying those small quantities, that's when things go, you know, haywire in two seconds. And that's what I think is happening here because, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. But I, I think that's the get-go. And it has to do with everyone's currency, you know. The dollar is still the strongest in the whole world. And other than that, you know, 
in the Middle East, you know, you're dealing with the euro while the euro is still, you know, running around here, you know, that it very well, no, it's 105, it's not bad. But if you had the choice of, you know, a couple ounces of gold in your pocket and you're, you're trying to find a new country or a new home, I think that probably makes more sense than having currency and then transferring the currency again. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yep. Yep. you know. Hey, if you've got, a, if you've got an extra moment, what, what about uh, the Canadian dollar? You know, Canada is a commodity country, oil, uh, energy, uh, precious metals. Uh, do you see the Canadian dollar strengthening in this environment? So right now we're trading at 137. Let's pull this. It's kind of at the top of its range. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see that going back down to the, you know, getting, getting stronger on the Canadian dollar would be like going to 120, folks, okay? We are at the top of the range. See, we, I just pulled this back, you know, 20 years. You had two spikes up there at the 140 level, but the last time we were up there was at the 139, and right now we're at 137. What does happen, and this, I'm glad you brought this up, Ray, this is what does happen in the metal, metals market. Now, this is really important, folks, to wrap your head around. In 2011, and I think in 16 also, what happens is that if you own a Canadian equity that's doing business in Canada, like an Eco Eagle, okay, what happens is that as our dollar goes down and the Canadian dollar goes up, right, what happens is that they make so much less money. You know, the first time this happened, it happened um, in 2011. I'm, I'm looking at these stocks. I'm saying, what, what is the disconnect here? Well, that was the disconnect, folks, is that the Canadian dollar got so strong that it was a problem for the mining companies. What a trip that is, right? <laughs> yeah. It's just the opposite kind of what you think. You know what I mean? But right. right now, they're all on the move, man. Right now, you know, if this is the run, you know, we're only at 1992. 2700 is game and the way gold goes you know the 25 to 2700 is only a one to one abc up gold loves doing a one to five oh you know i don't want us to do a one to one point six one eight because then that's the end of a market but i think we get action have a great one have a safe one man thanks stay right there folks come right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow is down 269, Nasdaq's off 187, S&Ps are down 50, and you got 15 minutes coming into this close, and they're going to bring it right into the low. They already got it into the lows. Yeah, no, we just broke the lows. So... You just broke, you just broke the swing, and we'll see where they're gonna take this baby. Uh, 420 on the spy is the bottom of the consolidation. So let's pull the spy back up. You're at 421.64 right now. Yes, yeah, let's lay it out at 420.18, 420.03, around those areas. Now this is where it gets dangerous, right? Because what happens is this: is that we know there's going to be volume today. Volume's going to come in a huge way, right? So if you're coming into the swing with volume, expanded volume, well, your probability is, it, what are you going to do? You're going to jump ice, right? You're going to jump the creek. So we'll see how that shakes out. Let's go take a look at Vista Gold. We've got a couple questions about Vista Gold, and this is a trip. There's no doubt. Let's, let's, let's take a look at this first. So, so Vista, this is an exploration company. You know, bottom line, we've had... Fred Ernest on a bunch of times. The low is 35 cents, and that's this week. The high is 75. And if I give you this chart, now this is the, the thing that, you know, is pretty intense right now about Vista, is that you take a look at this chart, and then, yeah, you're coming into a swing. You are coming in with lighter volume. But what you don't have is a rejection of lower price. And what you don't have, which, you know, it's a huge problem right now. I mean, I know how the stock trades. You know, it can come out of nowhere and then all of a sudden it's up in a monster way. But the bottom line is that the gold contract just went from, you know, 1833 to 1992 and we haven't got any movement. That says quite a bit. Now, no one's been selling Vista, meaning that the funds, the ownership inside the company itself, you know, bottom line, have not been moving this thing out. Well, that says something, okay? But the bottom line is, is that when you can go up uh, almost $200 in the price of gold and this doesn't move, well, you gotta be really careful. That's the real bottom line, you know? We'll see whether we can get a sign of strength going because um, this hasn't had a sign of strength whatsoever. Now, when I put this on a longer basis, you know, it has that spike. You know, it has a couple different spikes. One is a 140, one's a 210. But first, we've got to get out of this, this deal down here. And, you know, if the gold contract continues to go higher and you don't see Vista going anywhere, well, that should say it all, you know, because these other equities have you know, certainly come off the lows, and a couple of them, like if you look at Anglo Gold, this thing, well, this thing's powerful anyway. I mean, this thing, you know, in a couple of weeks, we just went from the 1490 area to 1960. Now, we own this, and my take is that, I mean, th this is going to be a monster move on this thing. This, this, you know, 
like 30 bucks his game here, you know, because that's 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 how big the top of the consolidation is. This this I've traded this quite a bit. This consolidation is huge, and when when this moves, this almost moves like a oil stock. You know, I can see when I brought this back. How many years did I bring that back? Yeah, that's three years. Let me see. I can do five. Yeah, look at this. So it's been in the same consolidation. And when it gets whacked, man, it gets whacked beyond belief. I mean, look at this. So the top of the consolidation is the 30. The bottom, I'm not going to take the very bottom, but yeah, it's 50. It's a 15. On a $15 stock, it's a $15 move. And that's, that's pretty intense. And they do make money, you know. Like, and they, they actually have a, a year and a half ago, they got a new CEO. You can see they're going to take... Uh, this year, they're going to take in $4.7 billion and $1.37 to the bottom line. And I think that's, though, in Rand. One second. Mm. Yeah, that's probably Rand dollars. Revenue. They break this down. Okay, that's broken down. Africa, 35%. No, $3.1 billion. Yeah, America. They get a they get a they get a good buy in America. One point one billion. One of the gold, one of the silver equities that you're still gonna have to watch out for, is Mag Silver. This is this was the high flyer in a monster way. Great company, and you can see they're still doing gangbusters. They're going to take in 402 million this year. They're going to make 60 cents to the bottom line. They're going to take in 548 million next year. Eight dollar, I mean, 84 cents to the bottom line. But what everyone's worried about, see, watch this. This is a one mine deal, and that mine happens to be in Mexico. So the problem is, we pull this back. So the problem is, is that if they 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 can change the rules anytime they want now in Mexico. So the problem, meaning, the, and the amount, I mean, this was the, this ran to 24, like nothing. And, you know, bottom line, you've, you've come down, and it's not getting any traction. So this Mexico deal is, is a big deal. They, the mining concessions themselves, they haven't pulled them back yet, but they have the right to pull them back by over 10 to 15 years. Now, 10 to 15 years on a mining concession mean, let's say I got a 30 to 50, well, 40 to 50 year mining concession. Well, if they pull them back, that's, that's huge. The other side of that, and this is going to hit more so the small Canadian exploration stocks, is that if you claim a mine, then you have to start spending money within two years. You know, so most times exploration companies, that's not even close because the fact of the matter is you have to go out and you claim the mine, you go raise some money, then you do a couple drill holes, you get the result of that, you know, if they're good, they're okay, you'll do a couple more drill holes. You know, you start really slow in the mining business. Because the fact of the matter is, if you don't get what you need out of the first two or three drill holes, well, guess what? Your speculation is probably wrong, and you know, you're going to have ore, but you're going to have ore that does not have the precious metals inside it. Or, let's put it this way, no, there's always precious metals. There's not enough precious metals in order to basically take it out of the ground, bring it to the mill, and then actually get something out of it. That, that's where this whole thing, you know, comes down. That's the, what is the type of ore you have? What is it, you know, once it goes into the, the feeder, what comes out the other side? You know, that's what it comes down to. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 271. You get the NASDAQ off 192. S&P's off 51. That's a downdraft out here, folks, of 1.4% uh, in the NASDAQ. Nine tenths of percent in the S and P as well as the Dow Industrial. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow's off 279, NASDAQ off 198, S&P's down 52, and we're going to get volume here. This is going to be uh, pretty intense because we're going into 113 million inside the spy now you're 102 we're going to get away with 113 men so we'll see how this shakes out because it's going to close right at you know this 420 421 area right now you're at 421 25 and the bottom of that consolidation which it has held is the 420 to 420 you know but if we come in with like 123 million in volume that's, that's telling me that, you know, at the beginning of the week, we'll blow right by that. What we will get out here today is that, you know, when we were talking with Tim Ord, we we're talking about that 10-day arms. What we are going to have right now is that it's expanding. You know, bottom line, you can see is right now it's at 1.29. So you very well could get a closing arms right up there. Um, but you can see that on Monday and Tuesday, you know, you had a, 0.40 to a 0.54. Well, what that means is that they were actually buying hand of a, of a fist, okay? Versus, you know, of course, today they're, they're selling the same stocks, the 1.29. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues out here. The queues are going to have a lot more volume because I, when we pulled it up earlier, yeah, it already does. We're at 65 million. Yesterday we did uh, 72 million. Now, the difference is, is that we're at 354. The bottom of the range of the queues is 351. So 
that has longer to go on the way down. And what did happen last time is that it was a one-day wonder. We broke the swing point, the swing point being that 354, 71 actually, and we're at 354.66 right now, and then I rejected it the following day. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.